I didn't even get a chance to introduce myself to anyone before I brought them up on stage. I'm AJ, so I'll say hello to, to my guests as well. I'm AJ, nice to meet you. How's it going? I'm AJ. I'll be asking a few questions before we go to the floor. <laughs> a little chaotic here at Calgary Expo, but that makes it more fun. Excuse me. Sorry. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Well, uh, I've actually met Michael before. Uh, we, we talked to Fantasia, perhaps you recall. Is that one working? This one's working. There we go. So is this one. Well, let me ask you, uh, Linda and Michael, uh, you know, it's gotta be a nice meeting. Here we go. Uh, reunited together on stage in, in front of a crowd. How often does this happen? Is this the first time in a long time? First time ever. Ever. Really? It doesn't happen enough, that's for sure. Oh. Well, Last year, uh, here at Calgary Expo, I got to uh, do something very cool. I got to host a reunion with the cast of Star Trek Next Generation, which has a huge following in the sci-fi community. It was a real highlight for me, but personally, I gotta say Terminator is my far favorite franchise. I hope you told them that. I didn't, but I didn't know I'd be doing this this year when I, when I did that last year. Well, maybe I can get all of your thoughts on why you think this franchise has such longevity and has such a passionate fan base. Uh-uh. No, okay. Because it's really cool. <laughs> I, um, I'm not going to even venture a guess there because that would be like against Star Trek, wouldn't it? I mean, they were they I'm came saying, they came before bad. us, so they were first, and we're the best. No. Uh, Hello. <laughs> Is it working? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Because we're really cool. <laughs> I think maybe, you know, the, the, the love story, um, you know, which you don't get to see a lot of that in Star Trek, or if you do, it's all very sort of mind meld and stuff. Right? Um, yeah, it was the sex scene, wasn't it? That was for me. <laughs> Well, Robert, I don't mean to interrupt your tweeting, if that's what you're doing. <laughs> you're known for, for... Please follow me on Twitter. <laughs> you're known for playing these, these menacing characters, obviously the, the T-1000. Uh, do, do you find people sometimes approach you with hesitancy in real life? Yes, and that's the way I like it. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm, I'm very hesitant. <laughs> And the, it's odd, the, the better you get to know him, the more hesitant you are to approach him. True. Good to know. Well, well Peter, you're known for being uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's stunt double. You, you have a school for, for stunt training as well. Do you often get mistaken for Arnold? Not anymore. <laughs> um, I, back in the day, when I guess I looked a little more like him. Uh, this face has been through some reconstructive surgery, so... Um, yeah, a, co a couple of times. Uh, I can remember once back on Commando, Arnold and I were sitting at a table having ice cream, and this lady came up to me, handed me a napkin, and said, Arnold, would you please sign this for me? And he was sitting directly across from me. I, I thought I was being set up somehow, like it was some sort of a joke, and we looked, I looked at him, and I looked at her, and she pushed the pen towards me again, and Arnold said, in his own voice, Yeah, Arnold, don't be a jerk, sign it. <laughs> Uh, there's only one eye in our name. 
Uh, yeah. How did it feel to uh, to join this epic franchise and to find out that you're going to be you know playing a Terminator, which has got to be such a coveted goal? Um. Yeah, it was and it is. Apparently, they said twenty thousand people um, tried out for my job, but for me, it was let it be believable enough that this young female person can um, kick Arnold's ass. So I just tried to train as much as possible um, and to believe to be as believable as I could. Well. I've had the fortune to interview many, many people in genre, been working for Space Channel, and so frequently when asking um, actresses about strong female characters, their go-to answer is Linda Hamilton as, as an inspiration. Did you see Because she is pure and genuine and real. And that says a lot in this business. But quite frankly, my inspiration actually came from Robert Patrick. And, and what he did in, in T2 and his character was, it, it blew my mind. And in such a way that I wasn't even a um, action fan. But when I watched his portrayal of that character, I did not see the Robert that I know. And it was, no, it was honestly, um, it was a real inspiration. So stop tweeting. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it, it really was. It, you, you have been an inspiration for me, so. I love you. <laughs> I would like to add, I mean, like, we're just going to sit up here and make each other feel really good about ourselves. That's what we want to see. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> I, no, I would just like to say, um, I couldn't do what these two people did in, the, in that movie. Um, you know, there was a stillness and a deadliness, and like, there's no part of me that is still. I'm like, like the, you know, Jim Carrey of action acting. You know, stars like I'm just so mobile, and you know, and I just remember what she's talking about in his performance. And um, you know, if, if I, can I give away one of your secrets? You know, he worked on Praying Mantis, and you can see it. You can see it if you go back and look at his performance. You can just see how, you know, just the the eyes move, but the, there's that deadly, you know, he's just the deadly strike that's like a moment away. And, okay, so she based hers on him. I could never do that. I, I just couldn't be that, like, still and deadly. I could be, like, strong and loud and deadly. <laughs> um, but you have to give it to, to them, to, you know, to each of us that we have our gifts. And their gifts, like, far surpass mine in, in a lot of ways. And I, I love what they did. I knew you're my editor. <laughs> Well, and you asked earlier, why is this franchise so successful? And I think, really, it's, it's, it's at its heart, it's the love story, and it's the heart that she has for her character in the song. Woo! And Kyle Reese, and, uh, you know, I mean, it's like, that's the, that's, that's the guts of the story, and the rest of it's, you know, just all the bang and whistle. So, that's why it's so successful. And the fact that Peter Kent was Arnold Schwarzenegger's stunt double. <laughs> We did the jump coming off with the Harley uh, into the the LA River Basin. Yeah. I was there that day. That guy's got balls. <laughs> well, he had balls until the end of that scene. <laughs> 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 See, he lost that take. He's obviously Canadian. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Uh, where do you see the future of these, these films going? Because so much is, is now CG. I mean, 